and I got a flat fucking tire. Jesus, man. Ju Who? Wha and there's lightning! God! So we fixed the tire, got gas, eating lunch right now on the way. We're going to back to Flagstaff. I came down here this exact way and did nothing. And then went to the campsite and got a flat tire, was up to like 2 a.m. waiting for the fucking guy to come out there and fix my goddamn tire and so now we're going back up to Flagstaff we're shortening Arizona fuck Tombstone we're not gonna see it fuck Saguaro National Park we're not gonna see it that was all cacti anyway I saw those coming in and after like 10 minutes of a drive you're like yeah well these are pretty much gonna be all the same huh I don't know what the future holds how, how could I know now we're going to Flagstaff there's nothing I can do about it Probably be hopefully like 30 minutes out of Flagstaff. A lot of questions have arisen. Big decisions happening in the next couple days, and like I said, future remains uncertain. Just one thing at a time. I can't even think one one day at a time. Just one thing at a time. Giving it the old college try best we can out here. Damn, dude. Guess what? I'm not in the car now. Uh, we're at a Hilton Inn in a Flagstaff. And so I know I looked outside and noticed there was a bit of a thunderstorm going on. Uh, kind of rainy. It started to rain. Uh, torrentially. Real bad. And then uh, the power went out. A couple minutes in. Uh, there's no lights on in here. These are all, a lot of these are in the on position. Um, but they're not on because the power's out. So that means the Wi-Fi went down as well as the laundry machines, which is something I still need to get from my car. Um, but I couldn't even use it anyway if I wanted to. It's honestly less rainy at this moment than it has been for uh, about 20 minutes here. That was a good one. One moment, I can't even, I can't even, I said it before, I can't even worry about one day at a time. I have to worry about one thing at a time. I'm trying to get a tour for Antelope Canyon tomorrow. It's the last thing I'm gonna do in Arizona. We're gonna do some major readjusting to semester fraud later tonight. Regardless of anything else, I'm running out of money a lot quicker than I thought I was gonna. And thinking about the, about the plan, of course I am. It was crazy to begin with, almost. T I saved $4,000 uh, for this, for the 10 week trip. How could I ever have used $4,000 in 10 weeks going on a vacation? That's ridiculous. So you wanna take a, I don't like the long thunders, like it's, <laughs> I like it when it's just like pow. So regardless of how tough just things are gonna be in the other states, I'm running out of money. So I have to do less stuff. And it's this will be the money I then have once I get back. It was it was really ambitious from the get-go. And it didn't occur to me. It didn't occur to me that it was so much. That's how it goes. That's why cookie crumbles. What can I do? What is there for me to do but adapt and learn and adjust? What, what other answer is there? Steady on. Steady on.
Well, it is now that time. It is time for radical changes to the plan. I don't say it with a heavy heart because uh, it's all kind of to be expected. Once I looked, I looked at the plan, talked with Mission Control back at home. Point one, 10 states was crazy. 10 states was borderline lunacy. 10 weeks was not necessarily the problem. 10 states in a 10 week period is kind of just crazy. You got to be on point every day, all 10 weeks, everything's got to work. And you just have to drive to get to places. That's the hardest part is driving places because it takes so long. Point two, I did not save enough money for 10 weeks and 10 states. No way. I saved $4,000 for the trip. That, there's n not a chance that would last me 10 weeks in 10 different states. Looking at it now, after about a week and a half, we are axing some of the states. We're taking them off. I never really cared for the desert to begin with. It was just easier to go that way. Right now, we're going to Antelope Canyon in the very north. Animal? It's just a fucking rock. Then, we're going to Utah. We're right there. We're gonna drive through Monument Valley so we can see that because it's not really a park. It's kinda you just drive through it and you look at it. We're leaving Arizona, we're going to Utah, which is the next state on the list. We're gonna go way north in Utah. That is the only thing we're actually doing in Utah, is Arches National Park. And then we're going north, stopping at a town up there, and then Saturday, we're going to Idaho. So we're taking some states off of the list, which is, we're taking off Colorado, which is too bad, Wyoming, hit or miss, and Montana, which I'm sad about Montana the most, because I would have liked to have seen Montana. That is another big thing. You gotta bring someone with you on a trip like this because it's easier that way and everything is better that way. So that's point zero. Bring a friend, bring somebody who can just deal with the shit with you. Because those are the ones I wanted to see from the beginning, Washington and Oregon, the North. That's what I wanted. I feel better about it this way. I just, I took a look at all the locations I have saved in all the different states, so everything I'd want to do. And you look at it now, and I know how much money I have, and hell, even you guys can look at it and tell me what you think. <laughs> wow, that sure is a lot of places, huh? I look at just the sheer number, I'm like, there's no way I could have accounted for all of this and everything that would have happened in between, there's no way it's, it couldn't have been done in this stage of my life.
I'm glad I'm shortening the trip. When I started driving today, after about like 40 minutes, my oil light came on. So I'm like, God damn it. Now I gotta check the oil, do whatever that means. And then after a little bit, the check engine light came on. I'm like, oh, nice. Those are probably, those problems are probably related to each other. So I thought, all right, well, again, this just has to be what's next, is fixing this. I spent time in this town called Page after I did the Antelope Canyon tour. I went to an auto zone. They did the scanny thing. They said, oh yeah, you need to get a new oil cap thing. A new oil top, whatever the fuck. Uh, but we don't have it for your car. So you gotta go to a Toyota dealer. Closest one's probably in Flagstaff, which is where I just came from this morning. So I just, my heart just fucking sank. I got a campsite reserved for tonight and tomorrow night. So I would fuck both things if I uh, went back to Flagstaff. We got some oil. That was a pro I had like no oil. I nearly blew the motor, the guy told me. So I, we put in a bunch more oil into the engine and that made both lights go away. Now the car runs fine for now. So I'm like, all right, cool, thanks. That added like an extra hour I was not anticipating. So then I'm like, all right, I'm heading through Monument Valley to get to the town of Moab where I'm going. I'll head through Monument Valley because I don't have time to spend a day there. And it's really big. It's not like a specific park. It covers hundreds of miles. So you can just drive through it and see it as you drive. And I got hit with the worst fucking storm I have ever been in. I don't know if I got any lightning on video, but it was so goddamn close and it was so goddamn scary, this lightning. It was crazy. It was a total whiteout or gray out or whatever because of the rain. You, I cut my brights on, didn't make a shred of difference. You could not see. It was dangerous to be driving and I'm like, I should stop and wait for this to pass. But I could see there were people ahead of me. I'm like, if there's people ahead of me, I feel better about doing it at all. So I kept going. Then when I got out of the storm, I was hit with a fucking sandstorm. So if it wasn't the rain obstructing my view, it was the fucking dust. The sand of Utah. Woohoo! So along all of Monument Valley, I can see the silhouettes of the pillars. I saw a couple of them because they were pretty close. But fuck, just let me see it. This is the longer way to get where I'm going. So make it worth my time. And now the sun's in the fucking camera. So you might not be able to see my face. I can't tell, I'm driving. But now there's this massive dust storm. I think I'm about to hit another thunderstorm in a couple, in a, like a hundred miles or so. I just, uh, fucking, the desert, man. The desert sucks. All right, well, whatever's coming up next thunderstorm or a sandstorm it's big it's a big ass cloud thing <sighs> hopefully i won't have a reason to talk to you again until i get to the campsite that's the goal wish me luck god damn